Hi guys, welcome to AMZ Advisors. I'm Yasmin, I'm the Director of Account Management. Today I've asked our top account managers to answer some frequently asked questions that we hear on a regular basis. Please remember that if you have any other questions you want our experts to answer, you can send us a direct message or you can comment below and we're always happy to help answer them. You can also follow us. We always send out some great tips and tricks on how to grow your business on Amazon. Carolina, Fernando, Pedro, let's get started answering some great questions. Hi there, my name is Carolina. I am an account manager at AMZ Advisors, and today I'm here to answer some frequently asked questions. The first one is, why is my campaign not spending the daily budget? The daily budget is the maximum a campaign can spend per day. Although we do uh, have a daily budget, that does not necessarily mean that we will spend that amount daily. The spend is related to the clicks and getting clicks is related to our bids. There are a few options for the bidding strategies while creating a campaign, and they are dynamic bids down only, dynamic bids up and down, and fixed bids. If a keyword or product that you're targeting is running at a low bid in a down only bid dynamic or a fit bid dynamic, there's a smaller chance of that keyword winning the click against competitors. This way, we don't get the click, so there is no spend. However, if we are running the keywords at competitive bids, we have a bigger chance uh, to win the click and then have the spend. But even in that scenario, we won't necessarily spend the daily budget because we can only spend as much as the market allows. Hi there, my name is Fernando Narvaez and I am an AM here at AMC Advisors. We have the product listed on Amazon. Why is it not showing when I try to search it on Amazon? So this depends on a different uh, number of things. First of all, since it is a brand new listing, you need to start ranking on the keywords that you have in the title and the keywords that you are advertising. So since it's a brand new title, you're not going to be showing the first page, second page or third page. So you need to start building your product into Amazon. So you need to start uh, increasing your organic rank and your sponsor rank. And after that, uh, you need to win the buy box. You need to be eligible to be on Amazon to have the buy box. So you need to start building the listing in Amazon increasing the organic rank for several keywords. So that is going to help the searchability and then you will be appearing on first and second page. Hey guys, I'm Pedro Sancio from AMC Advisors. What is a good ACOS to settle on that is profitable but doesn't compromise sales? There's really no easy answer for that. It really depends on what your strategy is. Maybe you're you're really more focused on sales in the long term regardless of you know profitability. And if that's the case, you could even be running with a, a higher ACOS. It could be 40 to 50 percent maybe depending on the on the margins you know if you have some some wiggle room for you to play with them or if you really care about uh, having those items as profitable as possible regardless of sales then uh, you could go as low as 15 percent 15 to anywhere from 10 to 15 percent uh, now the only problem with that is that the only way for you to actually get those margins is by having really low bids and if you have low bids then you're really not going to be winning those spaces whenever people search for the product right so even though on paper it might look like you're having an amazing ACoS, you're compromising sales. So my sweet spot for most of my clients, I would say that it's anywhere from 20 to 25 percent. That's 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 a reasonable number for you to you know remain profitability, but also focus on the, on those sales, which is obviously the number one driver for for any business. Hey 